YouTube. How is everybody? I thought I'd give you a bit of a bonus video this week because I am feeling very generous. And I kind of wanted to talk to you about a passion of mine, which is music. Now, if you know me, you know that I've always got a pair of headphones on, whether it be on the bus, the tram, or just walking. I've always got to have a pair of headphones on. I can't, you know, go out without some form of music on. Otherwise, I'll either just get bored or fall asleep. <laughs> um, which is never a good look on public transport, really, is it? So, um... Yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about music, who I've been to see, who I'd like to see, um, who I've not seen, that kind of thing. So I've always been into, you know, different music. Bonsoir. The only music I don't like is like classical and country and all that kind of stuff. Um, I love R&B, hip hop, uh, I can cope with a bit of cheese, but it can't be too cheesy, um, pop, but I mostly listen to like R&B, rap, hip hop, that kind of thing, hence the Drake poster in the back, um, one of my favourite artists is Drake, I've been to see him twice now? Yeah, twice. Little story behind that. Um, last year I was very, very poorly with sepsis. I came down with sepsis. I had to spend like five days in the hospital. Not fun. And before that, I had booked me and Wes tickets to go and see Drake in Sheffield. I was so excited, so excited. I got good seats. We'd booked a hotel so we could stay over for the night. And I was so excited to go. Um, we'd done a bit of a pre-tour to see where it was and where we needed to go. About two, three days after we'd done that, I got poorly and I couldn't go. I was gutted and even to this day I still like I can't believe I couldn't go. Um, and it turns out in the end my cousin had my ticket and while I was in hospital kept sending me like whatsapps of the concert which was nice but at the same time I was like Stop sending them me, I want to be there. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a little bit heartbreaking. And I did try and get some, well, I did want to go to London when I got better, but it was too far to go and too much, you know, effort, really. But hopefully, hopefully it will be back again and I can try again. So, who did I go and see? So, my first concert was a girl group called Eternal. I went to see them at the Royal Concert Hall in Nottingham. I can't remember how old I was. I want to say I was about 10. Perhaps a little bit younger. Um, oh, and I loved it. I think I knew from that point that music and going to shows and concerts was going to be my thing. Um, and then I've been to see Beyonce once on her own. That was at Sheffield. And once at with Jay-Z when he did, they both did the On The Run 2 tour just not long ago. That was June this year. That was amazing. That was probably one of the best nights of my life because it was in a massive stadium. It was at the Etihad in Manchester. Sorry. Um, 
and it was in the stadium there was about 70,000 people there oh the atmosphere was just electric I could I, I wanted to go again I didn't want to leave the concert at all I was I wanted to stay and do it all over again but that's probably the furthest I've been for a concert actually I would say so yeah um who else have I seen seen JLS a couple of times they were good um I'm trying to think who else I've seen I used to work at the arena funnily enough I used to be a steward so we could hear all the music as we were working outside um or by the doors or wherever we were put that night and I got to see a couple like Diana Ross and there was somebody else, I think it was Lion Rich I got to see. Yes, that was another one, me and me, Mum and Wes um, went to go and see Lionel Richie. Oh, he was brilliant. Don't get me started on that. Yeah, don't get Wes started, he lost all his footage. No, no. He was not happy. He was not happy. So, yeah. I I love music. I look and you know, I, that's my passion. I I've never really been like Wes is more film, I'm more music. So if you want film trivia, go to Wes. If you need music trivia, come to me. I suppose I kinda like rap because like my cousins liked it um back in the day. And so that was what I would normally hear. My mum, obviously, I like Motown and stuff like that. Um, and I think that comes from my mum. And, and I always say that I was born in the wrong era because I like I like disco music. Not that I would see myself in a sparkly dress or anything like that. <laughs> but I love disco music. So... I'm trying to think who else I've seen. Alexander O'Neill. Yeah, I saw Alexander O'Neill. He sweat like mad that night. Saw that chicken. Saw the chicken, yeah. Um, I've seen quite a few people, really. Um, and I'm trying to think of who I want to see next. I'd love to go and see Skepta. I'd love to go and see Skepta. Um, obviously, I'd go and see Drake any time. I... Probably Stormzy as well. Quite like to go and see Stormzy. But I remember not long ago, um, Skepta put out a documentary. And I watched that. And came what came with it was one of his concerts at Alexandra Palace in London. Oh, it was amazing. I just wish that I was there, you know, it was one of them. And yeah, so I'd love to go and see Skepta. Uh, or the other one I went to see one was Mini Nicki Minaj. She was good, but I think she was miming. Hashtag controversial. Hashtag we're next to nothing. Oh yeah, she did, to be fair. Yeah. To so and so. She didn't wear much at all, did she? Oh, I thought. Yeah, I just thought I'd give you a bit of something just to end the week off. I'm not doing much this weekend. I'm going out with my friend Saturday night. We're going to go and watch um, Lost Voice Guy, who is a comedian with cerebral palsy and he can't talk so he does all of his speech with his ipad so that should be good i'm really looking forward to that i don't think i'll blog that because you know i'm with my friend and we want to be so so yeah i hope you all have a good weekend don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, which will probably be next week. 
All right, guys. See you later. Bye.